Now we look at problem 416 and read the exercise text. So we consider n star and we say let n star have the distribution uh, as such. So n star is equal to 0 with probability 0 0.8. n star is equal to 1 with probability 0 0.15 and n star is equal to 2 with probability 0 0.05. Now what do we have? Now we say let n be a thin version of n star. So what that means is if we have n star uh, accidents for example then we consider each of them and do a coin toss uh, that can result in 1 with probability 0 0.7 and results in 0 with probability 0 0.3 which we get from this part. So that is uh, where, where, where each of the coin tosses are binomially distributed parameter 1 and uh, uh, probability parameter 0 0.7 and uh, they are IID and the i's are all independent of n. So we have this here uh, because then uh, what we want to look at now is what is the distribution of n. Well first and foremost which values can n take? Uh, n can take values 0, 1, and 2, right? Because you sum 0, 1 variables up till n star, and n star can be 2 at maximum. So n itself can be 0, 1, or 2. Now what we're going to do in this exercise, just in a second when we start solving it, is we're going to think a little bit about uh, how to express the fact that n is equal to a certain number by using events that involve n star and the ii's on this side. So we'll do the solution in the next video.